So magnetic declination is definitely the hardest calculation that you will experience when you are calculating your GIS questions, right? So what is magnetic declination? It is the angle formed between true north and magnetic north measured in degrees. So this entire piece here with these two lines and this short paragraph will be found at the bottom of your map. So that is where you find this. And in this paragraph here, you can find a lot of important information in which you can take out the units and put into your calculations, right? You will need a lot of these numbers displayed here. So let us read this. Your mean magnetic declination, 20 degrees, 3 minutes, west of true north, July 2004. Your mean annual change is 5 minutes westwards, 2002 to 2009. So there are four steps to solve this question for magnetic declination. So the first step would be to calculate the difference in years between the current year and the date that is on the map. So the date on the map will be this year, year July 2004. And remember, each question will be different. Some questions will ask you for the magnetic declination for the current year. Other questions may ask you for, let's give an example of 2019, 2018, stuff like that. Your second step would be to multiply the number of years with the annual change. So the difference in years multiplied by the annual change, the mean annual change in this example will be five minutes westwards, right? Remember this, this uh, small inverted comma here will represent your minutes. Step three, if the mean annual change is to the west, add to the magnetic declination given. So most of our South African maps, if not all, are westwards, right? We can see here it says, your mean annual change, five minutes westwards. If you do find a map that is eastwards, you will have to do what it says in step four. It's completely different to step three. So step four, if the mean annual change is to the east, subtract from the magnetic declination given. As you can see, it is different from step three. But if you do have a South African map, it will always be westwards. So this question says, calculate the magnetic declination for 2019. So this will be our year, right? So the first thing to do, your step one, would be to calculate the difference in years. Now, in our information given, you can see it says 2004. So we will write down number one. The difference in years would be 2019, subtract 2004. That will give us 15 years. For number two, what we will have to do is we will take your five. See how we can see a mean annual change is five minutes westwards. So you just take the five, remember the minute will have the inverted comma, and we will multiply that by your 15 years, and that will give us your total change, which would be 75. Now, remember, there's no such thing as 75 minutes. You'll have to convert this into a degree and minutes. So 60 minutes will make up one hour, right? And 60, 75 minus 60 will be 15. Therefore, it will be one degree and 15 minutes that would be the total change and now we have to either add or subtract this towards the magnetic declination so here we can see it is westwards therefore we will have to add so for step three now we can see your mean magnetic declination will be 20 degrees and three minutes 20 degrees three minutes plus one degree 15 minutes will give us the magnetic declination for 2019. This will be 21 degrees. Remember, we are adding 20 plus 1, give us 21. And 3 plus 15 will give us 18. Right, so that will be 21 degrees, 18 minutes west of true North. Remember this, your answer has to take this form, MD for 2019, 21 degrees, 18 minutes west of true north. Just remember that.